The term friends means little or nothing at all so I would call it an acquaintance that just wants things from another person whenever they want. Who benefits? Only they will. My ex wanted to be, friends, after abusing the hell out of me for years. After the brutal discard after many smaller ones and I didn't come back to live but was pulled back into her bed many times for many months, she ordered us to be friends with benefits. Please find a place close by so we can hang out. I want to be able to hang out with you. She wasn't a friend for years and I wasn't a friend to myself for remaining with her. She wasn't capable of having a relationship and little did I know that she knew the outcome after being each other's everything with dreams of growing old together. She said, I want to GP first, I couldn't imagine living without you, dozens of times. Now I'll just be a guy she uses for sex, a handyman, problem solver, excellent dinner companion. I was damaged enough by the toxic relationship to almost fall for it just to keep her in my life. I had magical thinking, hope beyond a healthy mind. I thought long and hard to determine if I could now date someone that was my family, the person I would die with. I could have her in my life if I didn't complain that she was dating others. It took so long for me to understand that now I'm just an option for sex and companionship, I'll never be more than that and we won't ever be a couple again. I asked her to define our friendship several times just so I'm clear as to what she is wanting. That led to being blocked for a few days, sometimes more with no admitted recollection of what I had asked. She was blowing up dating apps at the time and of course, her issues were seen soon enough by who knows how many guys she dated. With what we know so far, thank you Quora and its awesome contributes, some personality disordered folks know that any long-term and fulfilling relationship is impossible so, other than being alone, what's the only choice? I've never been a FWB type of guy and I sure as hell wasn't going to do this with someone I thought was my future. Let's call it an acquaintance where only one person benefits. Some people are geared for it and if only getting laid is the point and both parties agree, to each his or her own, no judgments. I know she will be in this state as long as she can pull it off but it seems like so much work, especially for a 44-year-old woman that isn't charming, sexy or even nice.